Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Michael. Coach, no such thing as moral victories, but I got to tell you, you guys went toe-to-toe -to -toe offensively with one of the best teams offensively in the country. Well, I'm really proud of our effort in all the phases. Uh, the guys really battled. Uh, we were battle-tested. We're used to being in these close games, and uh, hats off to Lehigh. Uh, they were able to get one more score than us. Earlier in the year, you told me, John, there are lots of different ways to move the football. I don't know what volume, chapter, verse, I don't know where you went in your library of offensive plays, but, Coach, you really pulled out all the stops in the first half. It was a, it was a great exhibition. Well, uh, there are. We, we look each, each week to see how we can move the ball, and uh, we've had those plays, and, and we felt they were ready, uh, and the guys really executed well. We just uh, came up short. Now comes the hard stuff, right, Coach? Get on the road, you get recruiting, you get some of your guys in here. I know that uh, these uh, you've met a lot to these seniors. Uh, you know, you almost bookended their careers with two incredible victories. I know that everyone's looking forward to next year, Coach. Well, it's a great group of seniors, and hats off to them. They uh, really led our team. Uh, were great flag carriers for our program, uh, and they bought in right away to uh, what we're trying to do, uh, and they, uh, they led the way, and uh, we're looking forward to... Uh, to next year. I'm sure you are, Coach. Use this game as a springboard. Good luck going forward. We'll see you down at Kirby Sports Center. Yes, thanks, John. You got it. Okay. okay, Gary, Michael, back to you guys. All right, thank you, John. I was just telling the seniors that have graduated, Mike Donnelly, or will graduate, Nick Francis, Rob Hinchin, uh, TJ Jones, Andy Lobadev, Rashawn Merriweather, Matt Mrazek, Rocco Palumbo, Phil Parham, Colin Razor, Michael Root, Matt Rothrock, Mike Schiffert, Parrish Simmons, Cam Smith, Sam Vale, Dylan Wadsworth, Anders Warfall. We'll be back. Stay with us. One final word. We are back. We welcome you back as uh, it's time to take a look at the highlights of today's football game, and that means Mike Joseph. Well, there were a lot of highlights today. You know, we can't say that a lot this year, but Lafayette came right out of the gate swinging. This is the first play of the game. Sean O'Malley, he's going to hit the wheel route up the sideline to Nick Pearson and then Nick Pearson's going to bookend this drive and take that 7-0 lead so Lafayette scores a rushing touchdown only their second of the year. Bragg alone's going to come back after a six play drive to knock that one in the end zone and then a nice play here for Lehigh and I called it a pick and it definitely was a pick no call. Lafayette uh, took advantage it's 14-7 right here Lafayette's got to kick it away Quinton Jones had a couple mistakes returning the punts today couldn't hang on to the ball and Jack Lamb's going to jump on that one a couple plays later Selwyn Simpson, who had 60 yards rushing, he's a guy you want to look forward to in the future, can really tote the rock. And right there, Jack Lamb again, he was a special teams MVP today, knocked that ball out. Lafayette turns it into a field goal. They got a 17-14 lead at this point in time. And then again, a huge play right here by Nick Pearson, the speed sweep. Now, in the first half, Nick Pearson touched the ball probably 10 to 12 times in the second half, really didn't touch the ball at all. And C.J. Emil, he was electric today, had a kickoff return. We're going to see a little bit later, but that takes the 24 to 10 lead. And what we're not going to show here is, is the fact that Lafayette, at the end of the first half, had a chance from the six-yard line, first and goal, and got really nothing after a bad snap. Lehigh comes back, cuts that lead to seven, but C.J. Emil takes this 95 yards to the house. And again, gets that 10-point lead back. At this point, it was 31 to 21, you just kind of had a feeling like Lafayette was going to have to try to outscore the Mountain Hawks in the second half. Pelletier was fantastic. Two touchdowns. He and Phil Parham went nose to nose the entire half, uh, second half, as well as the first half. This little pump fake. Again, just notice no pressure in Mays' face. He's going to hit Gatlin Casey down the field. Gatlin had a bunch of uh, catches at the end of the game to the field side, some some soft coverage by Lafayette, but uh, Lehi did what they needed to do, and sometimes you have to get a feel for them. When they're backed into a corner, they come out swinging, they do what the defense gives them, and, and they did it today. So Mays, a kid I didn't think was gonna play in the second half, give him some credit, he put the knee injury behind him, and Lehi, he led them to this Patriot League championship. I can't think of anyone I'd rather spend a Saturday afternoon with than Mike Joseph and John B. Bowman. That's it for us up here in the booth. We're going to send it down to John and to Phil, and we thank you so much for spending time with the three of us all season long. Here are the other guys.
Thanks so much, Gary. Uh, Phil, you know, uh, an exciting afternoon for a long, long time, and and uh, you knew it was going to be tough if Lafayette was, was going to be asked to outscore this Lehigh football team. Absolutely. You know, I think we knew that coming into the game. Um, I think we got a little bit conservative. It's, it's easy to, you know, to second guess, uh, but I think that's what was helping us in the first half. You know, you didn't see that uh, that Wildcat package at all with C.J. Mill in the, in the second half. Um, Obviously, they didn't turn the ball over, so we didn't have that like we did in the first half. So, yeah, uh, and, and tremendous shifts in momentum, obviously, throughout the game. There usually is in this kind of game. And, uh, you know, to that point, uh, Phil, uh, I think I heard Gary and Mike talking about the fact that uh, the time of possession shifted enormously. Nick Pearson in the first half had all was making all kinds of plays. And when he wasn't making plays, he was making the Lehigh defense pay attention to him. Uh, there just weren't those opportunities in the second half. There, there weren't, and then also the, the weather got, got to them, I think. You know, I, I saw a couple slips in the secondary. I also saw them playing a little bit cautiously. You saw a lot of people wide open with, with, a, lot of, uh, with a lot of room out there, and that, that just may go to what we talked about earlier, you know, not, not used to the grass field um, and also the bad weather. No question, uh, Ricky, who our director just informed me, Lafayette ran a total of 19 plays in the second half. And, uh, you know, it's difficult to, uh, you know, reach into your bag of tricks, which John Garrett did in the first half. We saw plays, and you mentioned it, Phil, saw plays we hadn't seen all year long. And if the defense could have just held up its end of the bargain a tad bit, we might have seen the upset today. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, eventually you're going to wear our defense down you know as good as they've played all year long uh you put that kind of pressure on them and and they're gonna they're gonna give up some points well phil it's been uh, a heck of a ride you know we had a rough start in the off uh, out of conference schedule the team regrouped and i'll tell you the last couple of weeks they've given us a tremendous uh, a, a tremendous uh, a ride of it uh, uh, throughout the patriot league season and uh, i like some of these young players i mean you've got nick pearson you've got uh, the quarterback you've got uh, uh, a couple of young guys that can make plays for us next year Year. Oh, absolutely. I think we, you know, have some uh, some good things going into next year. Um, you also, I mean, you you couldn't have expected, I think, at the beginning of the season that we'd be this late in the season. You know, two weeks ago, talking about the possibility of a Patriot League championship. So that's that's something that's you know that's worth talking about and uh, looking forward to in the future. And certainly something to build on. You know, it's been a terrific season again. We certainly hope, Phil, that we'll see you again next year. Michael and Gary, we just can't thank you guys enough for all your support. Rick Gijo, the RCN sports team. We're going to get ready for basketball now. So hopefully something positive to build on for the Lafayette football team going forward. Let's get ready for the round ball. We hope to see you again. For all of us at RCN, to all of you, thank you for joining us.